In this video, I'm going to share with you some Flowdesk tips and tricks to make your email life that much easier and, of course, aesthetic. One thing that has made my life significantly easier on Flowdesk is creating email templates. So let me show you. Now, this is just the main homepage of Flowdesk. You'll be in these these <laughs> this email tab and typically what i like to do is create a designated folder so i'm gonna go into this folders tab and for me i send out a weekly email of my youtube video so if you were on my email list you're a real one a real real one and in this case what i do is i scroll down to this particular folder and this is where i create uh, the emails for that week because i've already made my email template typically what i would do is go into here new email it would take me to this page here and you will see all of flowdesk templates here for your emails but you'll see here my favorites and this is where my email template is stored so what i want to do is show you how i did this so let's go back to flowdesk here and you can do this really anywhere just make sure you're in the emails tab so go to new email here and in this case i'm just going to start from scratch okay and i'm going to name this test email and do that there and it's just going to give you a quick basics of what your email could look like essentially this these are what is called blocks so you can add a plus button here Click on that and you'll have this menu of things you can do to spruce up your email template. Now, in this case, I like to share my YouTube videos, so I would put this little toggle here. I'll tap on that and I might put it underneath this text here, like something like that. And then I go in to my YouTube channel. I, let's say, grab this link to this video here grab that and go back into Flowdesk. And then here, when I click on this video tab here, I just paste in that link and it will immediately populate over the thumbnail of that video. Now in this case, uh, Flowdesk also gives you this kind of um, text overlay. I particularly don't like that. So in this case, I just very well just delete the text by manually just deleting the text just like that. And once you create the look and style of your email that you plan to send out on a frequent basis, what I would then do is just go up to this button here, save to favorites. You are going to heart that and name this accordingly, test email template, and go ahead and hit save. And once you do, it's gonna save to your favorites. So again, let's go ahead and go into Flowdesk. And then it's created this. This is the draft of the email that we just created. Don't mind that one. If we go to, let's say, our folder here, and we know for the next week, I want to create a new newsletter or new YouTube promo. I'm going to go to new email template. I'm going to go to my favorites. And then I'm going to, right as you see here, the test email template. We can go ahead and view details and from here, we can customize it. And at this point, all I would do on a weekly basis is come in and change the copy for this here, and then obviously change out the link for the upcoming video. If you wanna change this play button to red, you very well can. You can change it to the red color here to make it apparent that it is indeed a YouTube video. And then at this point, once you have the template made, you just go in and either send it out immediately or schedule it. And since we're here, might as well I'm show you how to actually send this out. So you want to go to next and then your name, your email here. And then we are going to go to the subject line. This is where you put the subject line. I like to add in an emoji, you know, make it cute, make it interesting. Okay, and then you could add in a preview text here, but I tend to leave that as blank. And I'm just gonna go and hit continue. Now at this point, you wanna add in your segments. Now typically, I send this to my full subscriber base. So my all my subscribers. And then I hit save. And then we go to continue. And 
from here, you can also send a test before you email this out. You can hit now and it will send out immediately, which I'm not going to do, or you can hit later, which will allow you to schedule this email at a different date and at a particular time. And once you do, it will be queued up to then be sent out. Sorry for the interruption. Let me drop this introduction. I sell Canva templates on Etsy. For my real estate age besties, I don't have a beat on this track because I am not a rapper, a singer. All I do is help agents prosper. Scan this code and you'll be the winner. Or find the link to my Etsy shop in the description box down below. Subscribe and let's get back to the video. Now this little flow desk tip is something that I discovered on my own, which I didn't even know existed, but has saved me so much brain power. And it's actually creating favorites of your blog because as mentioned, when you build out your emails, all of these little things are considered blocks, right? So this button is a block, this image is a block, this piece of text is considered a block. Now this image here is actually a P, no, it's a GIF. It's a GIF that I made on Canva. I exported it from Canva. So it has this, this moving motion because this is a particular uh, template I sell on my Etsy shop. So I'll give it a looky loo if you are interested. It's client intake forms and this comes in several different colors so i wanted to display that so that's why i have this moving gif so you can see that it comes in different colors but my point is because i went through the effort of making this design on canva uploading it into flowdesk as an image so let me show you how to do that quickly so if you go to the plus button and you just look up images you can have just the one image or if you go to let's see here the block grid and aspect ratio you can have two images three images four images or again just the one and you can choose the aspect ratio as well we're doing just one image like that but anyways you get the point once you click on this you can upload you, the image here you just click on this and this will access your desktop again it can be a png or a gif as well which is really nice but let's say i don't want that anymore i'm just going to hit the delete here and it's gone so as mentioned i'm going to click on this block here and you see here on the side it says save to block when i hit the the heart there save to block Right there saved a block and basically what this is is going to do is basically save this block to your favorite so let's say you are designing another email and you're like wait i remember i had this image and i don't want to go through the hassle of um, finding it because you knew that your future self would need it so that's why you favorited the block so let's say i want to put um for example, I'm gonna hit this plus button here and I'm gonna go over here. You see this button, this tile, it says favorites. So if you click on this, it's gonna open up a menu on the side here and you can see that we favorited this one here. So I can go ahead and click on this and it will immediately populate over. And you can also, as I forgot to mention this, you can also link this image with a hyperlink. So if I go to the image and I go to links tab, I can hyperlink the actual Etsy link to this template. So if a user who is coming across, you know, my subscriber comes across this image here, they can click on it and it will take them to my Etsy shop so they can shop this particular template. Now, if you want to remove this block from your favorites block, again, you want to go into your favorites here. And again, you can hit those three dots just like that. And you can just remove from favorites you could also set this as a default so it remains at the top of your list but there you go and again you can do that with any block it doesn't have to be an image it could be even a button so this is a button down here i could favorite and save it to a block my signature down here i could save it as a block so i don't have to manually create things i already have a template of my block so when i structure my emails all of my emails that go out to my subscriber base will look cohesive and on brand so i hope you give that little tip a try if you are a very nice person a very generous person and you want to share your email template with another flowdesk user you very well can do that by sharing your email template via a shareable link which i will show you right now so let's say for example this other email I have here that I sent out previously, let me show you, view in browser, it will open this up. So let's say I wanted to share this particular 
email template with another user, I would go back to my flow desk. I would hit those three dots there and you will see share as a template, which is a new feature to flow desk. You would toggle this on and then simply copy this link and share it with another user. So let me go ahead and open this up in a new tab here and open that. And this is what the link would look like. And then depending on, you know, the user, if they're already using Flowdesk, once they hit this button, it will immediately populate into their Flowdesk workspace as long as they are already logged into Flowdesk. And if you no longer want to share that link anymore, you come back into here. So let's say that was, you can see now it has this template link is live. And you can see also when the click, if you click on that, it will show you how many times um, somebody has used it or clicked on it. I don't remember the exact statistics. Yeah, viewed this template, use this template. But there you go. But if we hit those three dots once again, you can go to share as template and actually remove this, toggle this off, right? But before we do that, you can actually segregate all of the shareable templates that you are sharing live. So if you go again to your emails, make sure you're in the emails tab, go over to status and then shared as template here, you can see your archive of templates that are still being are, that are that are live shareable templates. Again, if you don't want to share that, you can simply share as template and then turn this off. And now, even if that link is still out there in the web, nobody can access or create a copy of your template. But I do have another template here, which is for real estate agents. This is a template for, you know, the, for a real estate newsletter, if you will. So if you would like this template, email template, I will link it in the description box down below. So be sure to check it out because I think it's nice. As always, if you made it to the end of this video, then you know what it is, you know what to do. Yeah. Comment down below, hashtag Encro, so I know you are a real one. And if you would like to learn more about Flowdesk, then definitely check out this playlist here of all the Flowdesk things. So if you're ready, get ready to click in three, two, one.